I published a story this week, it was printed Wednesday, about a guy, an incredible story about a guy who was selling on Amazon iPads. He was selling iPads on Amazon. You're nodding your head, you've, you've read it. A great story. Now I gotta tell you what happened from Wednesday until now, you wouldn't believe it. The story goes that this guy was selling iPads on Amazon and he posted it for what he thought was $400 a piece. That's the price. That's the retail price. And uh, he posted it at night. The next morning he wakes up and he notices that all of the iPads, dozens and dozens of iPads were sold out overnight. He has never had so much success overnight. He made thousands and thousands of dollars but when he thought about it, he realized it doesn't make any sense. It went way too fast. So he took a closer look at the price that he posted, and he noticed that instead of 400 he, he forgot a zero. And he posted it for $40 a piece. Okay? So right away, of course, he realizes, he calculates, he, made, he, he didn't just make a profit, he didn't, he, he didn't just not make a profit, he had a substantial loss. And he doesn't know what to do. He cannot cancel. You cannot, Amazon does not allow you to cancel the order uh, because it, you know, it, it, it ruins your metrics. It, it reflects very negatively on you. He didn't know what to do. So he looked at his emails and he notices he got an email from a guy. The subject said, Yehuda from Lakewood. He, he opens the email and he sees Yehuda from Lakewood emailed him that he is a seller himself on Amazon. He sells iPads. And he always looks for the prices that other sellers post so he can stay competitive. And he noticed that this guy was selling it to $40 a piece. And he knew that it cannot be real. It must have been a mistake. Now, this guy, the seller, his username on Amazon, you wouldn't believe it was Reblevi Yitzchak from Berdichev. He used the name L.Y. Berdichev. So this guy, Yehuda from Lakewood, emails him. I said, I, I, I saw that you, you have L.Y. Berdichev. I realized, look, you must be a Yid. And you must have made a mistake. I didn't want you to lose any money. I bought all of the iPads from you. I love speaking to women. Look at their reaction. <laughs> He says that um, <clears throat> uh, I can either cancel the order as the buyer, the buyer is allowed to cancel the order, but you have to take off the merchandise right away, or I can complete the sale and then uh, I can send it back to you, you'll reimburse me with a check for the cost price, whatever I paid, $40 on iPad. Um, so when I heard the story, I figured, wow, Mika Amchi Yisrael, I actually called Rabbi Pesach Kron, I said, I told him the story, and he said to me, he said, Yoel, this has got to be the greatest chesed story I ever heard. So <clears throat> I published it in the weekly column and uh, somebody had taken a picture of the story of the column and sent it around on WhatsApp on social media. Forgive me for saying this, I love WhatsApp. And uh, <laughs> they sent it around on WhatsApp and um, I get a text yesterday. Now by the way, Yehuda from Lakewood never identified himself. He never said his last name. So. They never met each other. You understand? The seller who made the mistake never met Yehuda from Lakewood. They never met each other. So the guy who, the seller, you know, he, he said to me, I don't even know who it is. I just know Yehuda from Lakewood. He saved me. So yesterday when the story was published, somebody had taken a picture and sent it around on WhatsApp. And I get a text yesterday from a fellow. He says, I don't know how he got my number. He says, I am the guy Yehuda from Lakewood. And he says, your story was posted on a chat that has a bunch of from Yidden that sell on Amazon. And I read it, and as I read it, I, I saw myself in the story. That's what I did. I just wanted to tell you that. I call him back, I said, yo, who the, you're a legend. What's your last name? By the way, his last name is Bregman. So I said, what's your last name? You're the Bregman. I said, Yehuda, please, I, we got to publicize this story to Claudia Yisrael. We have to tell everybody 
what a Kiddush Hashem it is that a competitor, somebody who sells iPads, will save somebody else. I said, you know, I'm actually this Sunday, I'm scheduled to film, film the seller. He lives in Clifton, New Jersey. I said, would you get on camera? And would you say to everybody what you did? He was a little hesitant and finally said, you know what? I will get on camera. I will tell everybody what I did. And not only that, he said, he forwarded me the contact of the administrator of that WhatsApp chat. And he said that because the story was posted on that chat and everybody sells on WhatsApp, they all want to chip in to sponsor this video to express the unity of Kalal Yisrael, how everybody takes care of each other. Now, if that's not amazing, listen to the email I got a couple of hours later. Get an email from a woman. She says, could you tell me Yehuda's last name? I read the article, what's his last name? And by this time, I already knew his last name. I said, yeah, his last name is Bregman. Why? Like, why do you want to know? She said, well, um, I have a husband. His name is Yehuda. We live in Lakewood, and he's been getting texts the entire day. <laughs> I really respect you for what you did. He has no idea what they're talking about. I said, why would they text your husband? He must be that type of person. She says, well, yeah, he actually did a similar chesed with someone with a different product on Amazon. I said, come again? She said, yeah. I said, can I talk to him? She said, um, I asked him, he doesn't want to talk, he, he's under the radar, he doesn't want to give, he doesn't want to talk to you. So of course, I don't take no for an answer. So I call um, other people in Lakewood, and I saw her last name, Miller. He, uh, you know, uh, and I said, do you know a Yehuda Miller in, in Lakewood? Uh, I asked a friend, who, who, and he, he said, yeah, he gave me the number, and I called Yehuda Miller, and he actually shared a similar story, and everybody thought it was the other Yehuda not you, the Bregman. But it just goes to show you that me, Ka'amcha, and I'll let you finish the last word. There we go. Yisrael. Me, Ka'amcha, Yisrael. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.